is one way you combat racism on a daily basis? I'll go first. I don't move for white people on the sidewalk. Oh, so you're combating racism by going out of your way to prejudge and be rude to a certain people group based on the color of their skin. What? Oh, him ain't gonna like this at all. Have y'all noticed how clear people never move out the way? The purpose of this video is to explore the politics of the pavement, the sidewalk. And before we get into the point of making a conscious decision of not moving out the way of clear people to understand how this hierarchy work, let's get some context in this little old study from the homie. The way that YT people don't make space for people on the sidewalk is representative of... It's crazy because there is actually a, uh, a study that they uh that they kind of did on this um and it kind of highlighted how people's brains reacted to seeing people versus objects in which like if you see people your brain lights up in a certain way and when you look at objects your brain kind of like remains a little bit dull that's what the term we're going to be using right now now, th this is a common thing that happens for every human on the planet, but what they found out that in white people is, you guessed it, when they saw people of other ethnicities, their brain lit up as if those people were objects, not real people. Thank you, Mr. Indigo Waffle. Now let's get into this sidewalk challenge, man. The do not move off the sidewalk challenge. Hold your space in this white world. You feel me? I'm talking about melanated people, particularly melanated women and people of color being cognitive of how they navigate through spaces, making accommodation for clip people and clip people having an expectation that us people will always already move out the way to allow for them to navigate their own spaces and places how they want to. This is about how clip people are feeling like if black bodies and people of color do not accommodate them, then we are being rude, unpleasant or intimidating. For centuries, clear America has dictated how we navigate our own bodies and spaces and how we as people use our bodies in those spaces. Research over me search Dan Jim Crow. There was a time when black people had required to move off the sidewalk to allow clear people to pass. And we see a lot of y'all have been indoctrinated by that understanding. We ain't moving. We can take up some space. Shout out to Hannah Drake for this article, man. She says, I challenge black people and people of color, particularly black women and women of color, to hold your space. I challenge you for the next 24 to 48 hours, be aware of your body and spaces and do not move for clip people or make any apologies or physically occupy any space. Be mindful of how you navigate sidewalks, who moves to accommodate you and who doesn't. If someone infringes on your space, do you speak to them or you do remain silent? Make a mental note anytime you felt like you were expected to move in the reaction of the other person when you didn't. The do not move off the sidewalk challenge. No. 